I was an FBI agent investigating the murder of my cat, Poopsie. My partner trying to help me solve the crime was my other cat, Mayonnaise, who was a forensic anthropologist who worked at the Jeffersonian Institute in D.C. Mayonnaise and I worked really well as a team, and there was even a little romantic tension between us. But Mayonnaise had a lot of family issues and emotional problems. Just before I woke up, I realized my mom was the murderer! <sighs> anyway... It was a really stupid heist dream. I remember wanting to steal something from a museum, but my cat Poopsie was also trying to steal it. My other cat Mayonnaise was my sidekick, and she was pretending to be somebody else, but somebody else was herself. And that didn't make sense because she is herself. Then Bruce Willis showed up. Yippee Kaye, everyone. And in the end, Poopsie did this weird aerobic dance to steal the thing and avoids all these lasers. But it turned out that I had the thing from the museum all along. So I'm not really sure why I even had the dream in the first place. Anyway. My mom was in my dream. Cookie! But in the dream, she was a teenager. Cookie? Who was on a vacation at this Catskills resort, and while she was there, she met my cat Mayonnaise, who was this hunky dance instructor. I think my cat Poopsie was my mom's dad or something. Well, Poopsie didn't like Mayonnaise, especially after my mom told Poopsie that she and Mayonnaise spent the night together. Then Mayonnaise gets fired and puts on a big dance number with my mom at the end of my dream, and then everything's okay, and then my mom has a nose job. In this dream, my cat Poopsie was trying to figure out who killed my other cat Mayonnaise. Only Poopsie couldn't remember anything, so she had all these clues tattooed on her little kitty body. The really weird thing was that some of my dream was in black and white, and some of it was in color. And it all happened backwards. I'd like to try and catch it again, but I can't remember. So it started with me standing on the corner in a sports bra and skirt held together by a safety pin and my cat mayonnaise pulled up in a sports car and he asked me for directions. Then he took me to his hotel where we spent a week together, though I had some rule about no kissing on the mouth even though he was devastatingly handsome. And he gave me some money to go shopping and they wouldn't let me into some stores even though I had money to spend in there. But eventually I cleaned up real nice. And then I broke that rule about not kissing on the mouth because we had something real. And then he tried to pay me for my services at the end of the week. But I got really offended because I thought we were more than that, you know? <gasps> And so I went home back to my crappy apartment, and Mayonnaise followed me with flowers and climbed up the fire escape, and we lived happily ever after, and it was so wonderful! 